Casey from Broom Bear Games. Just like to introduce you to our new game available on stream called Crim, The War in Crimea. Um, I'll just give you a quick overview how the game goes. We'll go through one of the short scenarios so you get a feel for the game. We'll start with new game. We'll go to what if shorter campaign. We'll play as a German versus the AI and then we'll start the scenario. Initially what you're presented with is a overview of the scenario you're playing and in this one you'll say this is a special short game at the bottom here the Germans have four turns to capture the cities. The Krim objectives here are to the right and you'll see that these are four cities are all on the coast of the Crimean Peninsula. We have Alusha which is here, uh, Yalta and then we also have um, an, a mini map on the left to show you where the screen is on the overall map. You can sc scroll around the map, but this is uh, just an overview here. Now we'll, we'll start the game by clicking on our overview here. Oh, here comes the German, the Soviet AI, sorry. And uh, the Soviet units are moving. To the left here, there's a button which presents uh, game, which change game parameters. Uh, the keyboard shortcuts, sound, uh, the manual, etc. Get out of the game if you want. We'll close it again. Now here the, um, the AI is completing and uh, the defense is the greatest around Sevastopol as you see. It is now the Axis setup phase so we'll start that. I have, uh, you'll see that the Germans, I'll scroll the map here, you'll see that the Germans have quite a few units, the Romanians, and they start at the top here, uh, entering the Isthmus. I'll, I've, I've saved a uh, version of this. I'll load my saved version of the setup. Everything looks fine. I'll say fine. Now it's the German movement phase. I'll click on a stack here. You'll see that if you click on a stack, you get a window to show what is in the stack. This one, the 896, has been highlighted because it is uh, on the uh, top of the stack. I'll, I'll close this. Now what you can do with the stack is right click and that will show all the units in the stack. As you right click also the units get uh, sorted, resorted in the stack. So some other ones come on top. We'll do the 896. We'll send this one here. 328. Send this one here. 2210. Now 2210 is a special um, assault gun which you can use to do a um, uh, mobile assault. We've got a mobile assault set up for that. Use a couple of, we'll put, throw all our aircraft and attack. As you see, it's a one to three. We're taking the chance here, but we'll see. Uh, attack, and the, oh, the second, one of the divisions was destroyed, but the 190th took a step loss. Now we'll add more here to us. Now at the same time, we'll distribute the units. Our main aim in this first turn, let's see what turn it is. We'll hit the, the shortcut here. It is turn one, as you can see. And now our main aim is to take Kerch and Lee just hem in Sevastopol at the bottom. I guess that's the name, main aim for my strategy for this uh, initial turn. So we're going to move this one. Uh, let's move this one to Jezanko. One to eight. Come up here. Uh, one one ten. There. Uh, one one six. You'll see is a artillery unit and. Um, We'll move that right there. One, three, six. Another artillery unit. You can notice the artillery units by the uh, range factor on them. And now we'll have to put something on an artillery unit because if an artillery unit is next to uh, an opposing player, it's ineffective unless somebody, uh, one of your players is on top of it. And now, and the final thing is there. And another one. There we go. Now it's the Axis Artillery Barrage. As you see, we got to prepare our artillery. We have two artillery units here, and we'll click on the sights here and say, well, we're going to put both of those on. There we go. So now we have the artillery on there. We move to next phase, and the artillery bangs away. And it's taken that unit. It will show the 302nd Rifle Division was destroyed. Now we have the prepared assault. We'll click on. Now we'll try this one. We'll select, uh, select both those units. Another one. It's a one to one. Here we go. We don't have any aircraft left. Should have saved some aircraft for this, but we didn't. Hey, 
So now we do an advance. So select both of these units to advance. And that one's advanced. And this one, we'll put all three there. Now our next one, this one, we want all three. When we attack, it's two to one. Unfortunately, the second unit was destroyed. That's it. Um, now, we'll attack with that. Oh, oh sorry. <laughs> Two to one, retreated. Well, we're taking some bad results today. Attack. Right, this one, attack. And this one, advancing. And that's the end of the attacks. Now, what we have here is we've uh, we've isolated Kirch. I think now I would believe uh, we're going to go to the next phase, and it's the AIs moving units again. Yeah, they are. They're strengthening up their uh, their defense of uh, Sevastopol, and now it's the it's our artillery barrage. One more artillery barrage. Hopefully, we destroyed this guy. Go forward. Oh, uh, it doesn't look like we, we uh, did them in. Now we get reinforcements. So we can put the, uh, the SS here. I'm going to put them all because our emphasis now will be on gaining Kirch. Axis are finished. Now it's, it's our movement phase. Take the, the SS, overrun, whatever's left. Uh, we're going to put a uh, aircraft. Let's put one aircraft, two aircraft, attack. Bombed out. Here we go. That's uh, a little bit of an example. Uh, now, after this, we were going to take Kerch, seal off the peninsula, and then we will try to... Uh, take Sevastopol. Now, the thing that in this scenario, you have to be careful because on turn four, um, the Russians get a massive amount of reinforcements and try to retake everything. Anyhow, it's a good game. There's many, many ways to win and lose, and there's many scenarios, so I hope you like it. Thank you.